Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and welcome to another G-Vlog today. I'm gonna disassemble this G-100 series G-Shock watch and just have a look what's inside the watch. Probably you could learn a thing or two and learn how to fix your G-Shock watch, swap the battery if you have any issues at all. As you can see, the two screw on this side is already damaged. Look at that. I couldn't use this screwdriver anymore to take it out because it's damaged. So, there's one little trick that I could share to you guys. Just take the bezel out. But do this at your own risk. First of all, just take out uh, at either part that could be, moved, could be removed already. Like this part over here on this side. And then take it out on this side of the watch just by force I mean this bezel is really elastic it should be able to take some expansion and then allows you to remove the bezel just like that without needing to remove the screw at all and then after you've done this you could just rotate the screw out using any tools that you have and then replace the screw with all the screw that you have laying around but keep in mind they have their own similar shape and size and construction as well so you cannot just buy this out there as easy so there is the details so that's why the screws matter actually just in case you broke yours now you know which one you want to get so moving on as you can see we have a lot of dirt in here so for some reason i'm not sure what this is this looks like glue residue for some reason the previous owner glued the bezel onto here and it goes all the way to the watch band as well so probably he tried to glue everything into place so that it won't move or wiggle as it is right now look at that so now let me try to remove this watch band Right, that's done as I could see there are a lot of glue residue all the way gets in there as well this is sort of like a dirt mix with glue residue because I cannot just remove it like that it's so thick and really I mean, it got hard enough already so this is the watch band a lot of glue residue still on top of there as well but luckily I was able to remove this and as far as I could see this spring bar is damaged look at that one the end had this uh, pin and another end just broke especially this this part has this tip and this part is totally destroyed already so this part needs to be replaced but keep in mind guys the spring bar on your G-Shock watch aren't the same as the one on regular spring bar out there on cheap models like this I have a bunch of this this one could fit into this watch but as you get to see the size aren't the same at all so I believe fake G-Shock watches use a spring bar that is this slim so that's why they aren't gonna last you that long unlike this guy look at that over 18 years old pretty cool all right moving on I'm gonna need to remove the watch buckle of this model and as you guys can see it is pretty easy similar construction as well still using a spring bar but look closely it bent this watch band shouldn't bend at all it's just straight and look at that the spring bar on this buckle bent like that i could try to hammer this like when you straighten up a uh, nail of some sort and get it back to straight and then put it back and make it usable again because i cannot just use a simple spring bar on the market like this look at that i have this a longer version one in here but generate ones aren't as thick as the one used on a g-shock watch so even though this one is already bent i'm still gonna use this it is much more reliable compared to using something like this it's just the way it is that's the best thing about g-shock watch so this is the watch band the keeper the keeper of this watch are the degenerate parts just a random keeper happening around so anyway this is the watch band now i could try to polish it up if i want to using sandpaper or if you want to custom paint it, this is it. Paint the watch band and you're good to go. Even though it's a lot of scratch, paint it one layer, two to three layers and you're good to go, looking like brand new again. So this is the watch engine now. Let's have a look what's inside.
removing the back plate will reveal us this o-ring of this model pretty simple o shape this is the back plate pretty thick and gave us the heavy feel when wearing our g-shock most of it came from this back plate alone we have glue with piezoelectric speaker and some code back at the back of there just so you guys could have a closer look there it is g100 sales day back japan movement why case in thailand what's resistant to also 20 bar so when you see a japan movement down here you have to expect a japan engine in here anyway first of all this is the back cushion looking really great still holding up very well providing us with shock absorbent structure and this is the engine fully jammed packed in there so no wasted space at all so that's the best thing about genuine g-shock watches so let me take it out i'm pretty sure it should be easy there are no sensors or anything else in here and that should do it all right this is the interior i'm gonna need to clean it up or if you want to remove the scratch on the glass this is how you do it remove everything else and then just use a sandpaper and polish the glass or if you have a dremel tool polish on top and should be good to go or if you want to replace this you could do that as well take it out and replace with another mineral glass and now this is the side cushion like so in black and this metal frame solid to hold everything to place or to provide some shock absorbance as well really so this is the back part of this engine you're gonna see Casio Japan no jewel sign down there and that will be the AC disc you're gonna touch that after you swap the battery in this case CR2016 battery let me try to take this battery out and we're gonna go all the way in here after this you know all right this is the battery seems like I just dropped something look at that this is a plastic cover that place in between here and the metal frame just now just to hold everything to place a lot better I believe all right I need to remove the hand of this watch first I believe I could do so like that and just like that so this is the minute hand of this G100 series. Check out the loom. If you want to paint the loom to a brand new one that is more brighter, paint it on top there, apply the loom paint, and then your G-Shock watch will be improved significantly, much better than the one that factory gave us. I mean, this aren't as good anyway. So this is the watch face. Take this one out. If you want to add a uh, Luminova paint on to here you could do that as well onto this metal face plate apply your luminescent paint on top here and all the index or anywhere you want and then you are good to go so this is the interior now as i can see we have this part where the hand goes to with that take this part out and this is the battery compartment this is what holds everything to place I connect the battery to the circuit board and this is the circuit board or right, I'm pretty sure this uh, engine or this uh, analog hands was connected to here and then connected to this button of the watch where I'm pretty sure when we let's see you now hand setting hand set will be this button right when you press this button it will move the gear in here and then move the hands so this button should connect to the circuit board and connect to this engine so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna need to remove this screw in order to remove this part and this is the component the uh, circuit board of this model looking really simple only single connector to the digital display panel but still very very nice they actually cut the middle part of this compartment of the circuit board to add this gear so that's pretty cool in my opinion really great let me try to take this one out oh yes I could do that look at that
testing at the back and this is the display panel compartment two springs over here and i'm pretty sure this is for the electroluminescence that this watch have so let us try to take this out as well right that's done on this part and this is the display panel right there it is so this is the display panel compartment this is the display panel of your watch so if you have a negative display you could take this polar polarizer out add a new one a positive display version and then problem solved you could use this right away and if you want to add some logos at the back it, you could do that as well have some signature to make the watch a lot more you know what collectibles and all and this is the electroluminescent sheets glow, glowing green connect with those two spring like so and close the el light that will lights on the digital display on your g-shock watch and i believe that is all that we have in this g-100 series g-shock watch really low end really affordable and as far as i can see you're really getting a lot except for this engine over here because you're gonna need to manually have uh, set this this part aren't connected to this uh, processing unit so they aren't synchronized at all you need to manually set this and then set this and then set both of them just so that they all match together at timekeeping mode and yeah that's not the best traits of this g of a g-shock in general really but anyway other than that it's really really good g-shock watch as far as i can see from the interior but regardless you guys should judge this by yourself if this worth the price or not it's all up to you but for me however for now that is it guys i hope you guys found this video a little bit useful informative and entertaining as well thank you very very much for watching this is g-shock high fashion channel and i'm